is told by Morgan Le Fay that the stolen sword Excalibur may be found in the enchanted forest. As he searches that mysterious region, Merlin, the magician, appears and uses his magic. So it's you, Merlin. No man may trespass here. And you pretend to be the king's loyal friend and bar the way to his sword? The way is not for you. Galahad, heed my warning. The way is not for you. You bewitch me. I can't move my arms. Soon there'll be much more you cannot do. What have you done to my eyes? Spring up, flames of darkness. <laughs> now, my foolish Galahad, you know the power of Merlin's magic. To those who trespass in the enchanted forest, I extend the most warm welcome. <laughs> what a pity that you should suspect me. You could well have been a credit to Arthur's court. But no mortal dare defy me and live to tell of it. I defy you, Merlin. Galahad. Merlin cannot harm you now, Galahad. You, my lady, must be... The Lady of the Lake? Yes, Galahad. I must have your help. I have helped you. For that I'm grateful. But now you must take me to Merlin. He has taken Excalibur for himself. Oh, no, Galahad. The mighty sword is not in the forest. I vowed never to rest until Excalibur has been returned to its rightful owner. A noble vow, brave Galahad. But you will serve King Arthur best by riding with him against Ulrich.
to feel the touch of cold steel. doing battle with the spirits of the enchanted forest? That, that must be it. I take it that Merlin has caused you some little trouble. Not half the trouble I'll cause you if you fail to take me to King Arthur. Your threat is my command. Our king goes to do battle with the Saxons. And Camelot lies undefended. We must hasten. This is the great sword Excalibur. Take it to Ulrich, your king. With it, he will conquer Arthur and become ruler of Britain. He's not one of Arthur's knights. Your eyes are sharper than mine. What device does his shield bear? It's a black raven. That's Bartog, Lord Chamberlain to Ulrich. Can you make out what hangs across his back? It's a large case. Not unlike that of a great sword. Ha! You ride to Arthur. Good fortune on your way, Galahad. I'm 
being followed. The intruder must not pass. He shall not pass, Lord Barton. Fetch your horses. You shall be rewarded handsomely, Bartok. Serving you shall be ample reward, my lord. <laughs> Sly dog, you ask for nothing, yet you drew like a hound before the kill. Shall we say all of Lancelot's holdings and a barony? You are generous, my king. The Bartok. Baron of Saxony. To the end of King Arthur and his round table. Arthur shall soon feel the might of his invincible sword. Speak, what news do you bring? King Arthur and his knights approach. Have they entered the pass? Yes, my lord. Groom, my horse. Come, Bartok. We shall see the noble Arthur ambushed and crushed this very day. What is there of the enemy? A runner has arrived only this hour. 
The men of Camelot are advancing through the pass. Are the men ready? They await your command. Then let them be assembled. Forward to the attack! fearsome weapon is this? What predicament has Sir Boris blundered into? Don't fail to see Prisoners of Ulrich, the third thrill-packed chapter of the adventures of Sir Galahad at this theater next week. <laughs>